This time, let me explain what's the difference between conductive and non conductive material. Okay, let's scratch it. This one is conductive material, and there's a static. But when you touch it, the value is decreasing and you can raise the static by connecting to the uh, ground or whatever. And this one is non-conductive material and when you ground it, the value won't change. And to reduce the static of the non-conductive material, you need to use ionizer like this. When you blow it, you can erase the static. Okay, let me explain how to erase static from the product. This one is the uh, non-conductive material and now there's a static but when you put on the table the static gone actually the static is not gone but it looks gone because when you put it back this one has, still has a static then try to erase the static using the cell static blower and in this situation you blow it but there is still static so, when you'd like to erase the static from the product, you have to put, you don't have, you shouldn't put on the table or, you know, the, the attached sub, uh, object. You need to erase it in the air, like this. Erase it. static is gone. For example, this is the work and you can see there's a static. And when you put on the table, there's static but there's no static. And you blow it. This part, there's no static, but yeah, I put it up, there's still static. So, in this case, like this shape of the work, you better put it this way and roll it. part of the product static has removed. Let me explain about induction voltage. So now this is a conduction, conductive material and have a static, but when you touch it, static gone. But the distance uh, has a static and the object with static close to the Object on static arise. So, in this case, you better put the object on the EPA table map. In that case, it this one won't affect it by other objects that has static. <laughs>